this is F, or at least one fingering to play the F chord on guitar. While it's not the easiest chord, there's no need to dodge it either. I'll show you how to make it sound as a bar chord, but also a good few alternatives so that you never have to fear any song with an F in it again. This here is my go-to alternative, and I find it's the easiest without sacrificing a lot of sound. A string third fret, and then D string third fret, G string second fret, and B string first fret. <laughs> If you want to use that chord for strumming, then make sure that your thumb is muting that top E string here. So have that groove right at the edge of the neck here to mute that top E string. And also have your index finger kind of like flat to mute that high E string too, because we don't want to hear that either. We only want to hear the middle four strings, the ones that you hold down here. Um, this will give you that sound. If you don't do it, it sounds like so. We don't want that, we want that. There's one last thing to mention before I'm going to show you the bar chord version. If you play a song and there is an F in it, it's most likely that there is a C in it too, because either the song is in the key of C and there could be an F in it, or it's in the key of F and there could be a C in it, because C and F, they go well together. And now the cool thing with that fingering here is, it's very close to your C shape, because what you do is you keep your ring finger in place, you keep your index finger in place, and then your middle finger goes one string up, but keep it on the same fret. And then you lift your little finger and there's your C, and that is worth practicing back and forth. Now this is your F bar chord. I'm gonna show you a close up in a second, just a few tips. Have that joint here in front of the neck. If you have it below or kind of like behind even, you can not get your index finger straight. So push your forearm just a tiny bit forward to get that. Then have your index finger straight and have it on that side instead of that side. Then place that joint here on the high E and B string. And have your thumb kind of like opposite index and middle finger, so somewhere in between. And I would have it like straight, I wouldn't have it bent like that because that doesn't feel very stable. And then if you can't seem to make it sound here, move it to the fifth fret. So have your index finger on the fifth fret because it's way easier here that there's less tension and the frets are narrower. Still, if you can't seem to make it sound here, then place your index finger only on the fifth fret and make the top string and the bottom string sound first. If you got that, then place your E shape next to it. Do you see that is E? It's coming from E, just different fingers. Place that next to your index finger and then still make that top and the bottom string sound first and then add those three that you place next to it. And then there's only one string left and you will get there, no worries about that. If you got that, move it to the F chord on the first fret. This here is literally the easiest F chord shape because it's only three fingers. So B string 1st fret, G string 2nd fret, and D string 3rd fret, like stairs. And you have that open A string as a bass note. Make sure that you mute that top string here and that bottom string, same principles. Have your thumb up here to mute that low E string, and have your index finger flat to mute that high E string. That A in the bass is not ideal, I know, but you can't get any easier than this with F. Um, if you don't like it, try the following. Still have your ring finger on the D string third fret, but at the same time touch that A string here to mute it as well. This will give you that sound. Or you could replace it with the little finger and have your ring finger touching that A string here. Same sound, but then you're back to that first chord shape that I showed you and there's no sense in not playing that. This I call the mini bar. So it's like the fingering before, but instead of having the index finger on the B string only, it's barring the B and E string, so a mini bar, right? This will add that high F to the sound. It sounds a bit fuller than the other one, which had only three strings, but it's not my go-to choice and it feels a bit like dodging that big F. This I call in the middle of nowhere, sounds like that, and it looks like that. So it's the little finger eighth fret, A string, and then ring finger seventh fret, D string, index finger fifth fret, G string, and then middle finger sixth fret, B string. Also make sure that you mute that low E string and that high E string, you already know that. Same principles, have your thumb up and have that chord shape kind of like flat to mute those two strings. And the cool thing with that shape is you can move it up and down the fretboard and you will always get like a different major chord. That is very handy when you change between chords, especially when it's a bit faster. That's also the same with the first shape that I showed you, this one here. 
This is F, right? If you move it to the third fret, that will be G. So moving between the two as they have the same shape is very easy. It's easier than doing the Bach chord and then G open chord and Bach chord and G open chord. Now there are two more that I want to show you and if you say now, well cool Florian, that is nice. I'm happy for you that you can play that, but I can't. And then check out highguitar.com where you can get one-on-one -on -one lessons. I understand how frustrating it is to be enthusiastic about guitar playing but not know where to start or what to do next. And that's why every month I help dozens of people just like you to learn guitar quickly and I'd love to do the same for you. Mm, the simple or the hard one first? How if you've been dealing with songs with an F in it before? I'll show you the simple one. Looks like so, top string, index finger, first fret, and then little finger, second fret, G string, and then middle finger, first fret, B string. It's not for strumming, you could make it work when you mute all other strings, but it's more for finger picking. is coming from A major, therefore you have to have it like so. Middle finger, ring finger, little finger, all on the second fret, D, G and B string. And then you move that all the way up to the 10th fret. And by the way, you don't have to count the 10 frets, you just count downwards from the 12th fret, which is always the one with the double dot sword. And there you are. And then you place your index finger on the 8th fret A string, and there's your F chord here. Same thing here, there is a pattern. You have to mute the, how, the, the low E string and the high E string by touching it with the index finger, having it kind of like flat here. You could also bar it on the eighth fret. That would give you that fuller sound, but still it is an F chord. Or if you find that hard to do, you could bar the three with your ring finger. That would be a common thing, especially on the electric guitar to do. And then have your index finger either just on the A string, um, eighth fret, or you could bar that as well. There must have been one F chord in here that you can play. If you're still struggling with B minor, then watch this next. 